Buenos dias, Valentino. I think of a better way to start my day than to see Valentino here as I'm getting ready to set up for the morning briefing. So much incredible stuff going on here. It's winter time. Yellowfin tuna, are you kidding me? And so much more. Hey, it's time. You know what time it is. Let's get to it. Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. This incredible Wednesday morning, it is absolutely gorgeous. That ocean is flat calm, man, it looks good for surf fishing. We've got our surf fishing party down here this Saturday. If you'd like to join us, just send me a text. I'll get you down here. We'll have some fun. But there is some incredible stuff going on right now. As the tribute came up with a March yellowfin tuna, that does not happen every single year. That is pretty incredible. And there were some further observations made by some other guys suggesting that we're still under the influence of an El Nino. This is really getting crazy. As I've been telling you all year long, we're going to have this El Nino and La Nina merge together and we just have no idea what's going to unfold. We're going to have more on that. Some better bluefin tuna still in the counts. The Tribute had another good trip. And also we're watching some very good halibut fishing up and down the coast. I'll be at Bass Pro Shops on Sunday. And as I mentioned, Saturday right here on the beach, we're doing a surf fishing get together. It's my B day. So I couldn't think of a better way to spend my B day than with each and every one of you. What an action-packed morning briefing we've got for you. You know what time it is. It is time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. God, I got to have a cup of this. Mm, what an exciting time. I mean, normally in wintertime, I'm dealing with like six blue perch and a lizard fish, and then I've got to make that sound interesting to you. Now, I've got to cut stuff out because it's absolutely an incredible year, and it's so good of you to spend time with us. Our numbers are soaring. Man, I can't thank you enough. Starting to push up there toward 5 million views now, and I owe that all to you. If you don't mind, hit that like button. Please share these videos with a friend. Tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content available. And of course, you can also follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, TikTok for a little bit longer, and Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel and click that bell. You're going to be notified when there's new content. All right, so much going on. It's really incredible stuff. And let's jump into it. I'll start you out in Mexico. Kind of go through there kind of quick, but not that quick. Cabo San Lucas, still some good bill fishing down there. Seeing some good striped marlin fishing, some sailfish. Also mixed in there, there's an occasional shot of yellowfin tuna when you find a good pod of dolphin around there. Mostly striped marlin right now, but even on the beaches, there's been some rooster fish taken and uh, there's some Dorado running around there, so pretty good. Now, let's go 140 miles down the Baja coast because now we're starting to talk about what might influence Southern California in the near future. Really good yo yo iron yellowtail fishing continuing down there out of San Quintin. Really good. So, small heavy jigs, you sink deep and that you set the hook by winding down on your jig. You never rear back to set the hook on the yo-yo iron. You just turn the handle. Really good lane cod fishing and also plenty of reds. Now, we get you up to Ensenada. And remember, when I was down there with Paulina and we were doing all kinds of updates, Paulina had some commercial info about bluefin tuna 50 miles from Ensenada before all this started. She's plugged into all the commercial info as well as the sport info. Now, Arnie Mann from Arnie Mann Sport Fishing, another great bonguero down there in Ensenada reporting 55 miles from Ensenada. Good jags of bluefin tuna. I'm not sure if it's the same zone that the San Diego boys are fishing or another zone, but they are seeing fish, and they are excited about it. Arnie is out this morning. He's on a local trip, however, fishing down the Baja coast there around Santo Tomas, where there's been yo-yo iron, yellowtail, and breezers of fish down that way. So uh, we'll continue to watch it. They have those big bonita, plenty of rockfish, and occasional halibut, great calico bass fishing along the rugged, beautiful, pristine coast 
there. Puna bond, uh, bond has been fantastic on the Calico Bass. So really good stuff that side of the border. Remember, we've had a flash or two of Barracuda. Let's cross the border and get into it with you all because it is absolutely magnificent what's going on on board the Tribute. They're back in this morning. Hopefully, I'll have Mike Pritchard, the captain, on a little bit later today. Keep looking for that. They ended up with 13 bluefin tuna the last time we checked. They had one that went 150 pounds. But let's get to the elephant, and then we'll backtrack to the bluefin tuna because a March catch of a yellowfin tuna within, I want to say, 100 miles of San Diego is unheard of. It just doesn't happen. And it was an incredible catch that they made. That yellowfin, by the way, was a nice fish, about 40, 45 pound YFT there on board their tribute. And as I say, this doesn't happen all the time. So is it just an anomaly? Uh, was it a flash in the pan? Mike Pritchard said he actually saw some other YFT in the zone. So that's pretty darn incredible. Now, let's add this to it because this really gets crazy. Max it was a deckhand on the Highliner, but he was out on the Pacific Dawn. Remember the Dawn had that great yellowfin tuna, or a bluefin tuna trip? I'm getting my tuna crossed up. They had that great trip where those guys from Michigan made that great catch. Well, Max was on board this trip. He saw over 50 sea turtles, which is evidence of an El Nino in warm water. They had patches of 64 degree water on that trip unusually warm for this time of the year. So I am telling you that this is going to be an incredible season. Of course, our five-day trip now on board the Independence is getting more and more interesting. It sounds like we're going to have a lot of options. There's still some room on that five-day trip. Give the Independence Sport Fishing Office a call right now. 13 bluefin tuna on the Tribute. And one thing I have to emphasize with you all is that Pritchard was down there solo. He was all alone. That's a big ocean, and it's very difficult to find that bluefin tuna. The fact that he found them is a testament to his expertise, number one. But I believe it's also a testament to the volume of fish that's probably around because you can go out there with one guy and make a catch. It's saying a lot. Now, he is going again this evening, and, of course, we're all going to be wondering if he's going to catch any more yellowfin tuna. It should be a fascinating trip as he takes off, but he's not going alone. Polaris Supreme is leaving a little bit earlier here this evening, so they're going to go down below and give it a look. And, of course, we're going to be rooting for all those guys. There may be one other guy that is added to it. Now, a lot of that fish, going back to the bluefin tuna right now, has been nighttime fish on the bigger grade stuff. However, there is a daytime bite. Fly line has been working really, really well. Sinker rigs have also been working super effectively in that daytime bite. Now, the better bite has been at night, and 400 gram rip roller jigs have been super effective. The eddy bombs have also been really effective on that bluefin tuna. And as we mentioned, Mike had one fish that went 150 pounds. There's a lot of that 40 to 60 pound grade bluefin tuna, but again, there's some bigger stuff in there also. As Lupe goes by this morning. Buenos dias, Lupe. Yeah, nice to see I'm good. Good to see you. So really incredible stuff for wintertime. Well, actually, we just kicked into spring. First day of spring, and we catch a yellowfin tuna out of San Diego. And in case you're joining us from somewhere around the world, we have viewers from all over the United States, but also many other states. And you're not really understanding why I'm so excited about it. Yellowfin tuna are a warm water species that we normally see in July, August. Sometimes we have to wait till the fall to see them. Sometimes the water never warms up here in Southern California enough to get yellowfin tuna moving up the Baja Peninsula. To have that catch made in March and to have seen more yellowfin tuna is mind-boggling and it's gonna be fun to watch. Hey, by the way, I think you should all note the fact that I came on here, made my albacore forecast the other day, and I was saying, it's trending cold water. It's trending albacore. <laughs> all I've got to do is say it's going to be a cold water year, and we start catching yellowfin tuna. Oh, my God. I, I, I think I figured out my 
my prediction abilities. Just say one thing and the exact opposite will happen. Great stuff. Good to see this happening. Also, a plane may be going up, spotter plane, to help the boys a little bit more here today. So we'll see if the plane goes, what they find. And man, this is turning out to be an incredible start to 2024 on our offshore season. Mike Pritchard, congratulations. Good stuff. And also Max, I believe it's new uh, for his last name. Max, if I screwed your last name up, I apologize. Thanks for those great observations, the water temperature and the sea turtles. That's some pretty incredible stuff, if you ask me. All right, let's get into the SoCal bite. We've got halibut biting up here in this neck of the woods. By the way, I was just talking about Ensenada. Take a tour of a great tackle store in Ensenada at the end of today's report with the lovely Paulina and yours truly. We're going to show you a tackle store in Ensenada. If you forget some gear, you need some hooks, you got to buy a rod or a reel, We've got the place for you, and I'll have that for you at the end of today's report. Here in the local areas, let's talk local. I mean, you know, half day kind of fishing. Uh, still some good wintertime bass out of San Diego with some whitefish and sheephead. However, the Mission Bell is going to turn their attention to the Coronado Islands, where they had four yellowtail about a week ago, and the islands are looking pretty good. We've noted that progression of yellowtail. San Quentin up there at Collinette, where a sport boat had 40 fish the other day. Um, up there around Santo Tomas, where the Ensenada boys have been fishing. Around Todos Santos, up there to the Coronado Islands, and even fish we taken to La Jolla. That progression of Forky, and nice grade, a lot of it, 18 to 25 pounds, is impressive. And the Mission Bell is going to be heading to the Coronado Islands in April every single day. Get your passports ready and get ready to rock and roll because that forky bite in an El Nino kind of environment could really accelerate before our very eyes. So good wintertime bass. And as we move you up here, up to this neck of the woods, we continue to see more of the same for Dana Wharf and Oceanside and Long Beach Facebook and San Pedro. Guys are catching the whitefish and sculpin and occasional halibut on the local scene out there to the Channel Islands, the Island Spirit. We had a great interview with Daniel Hottaway, who runs the Spirit out of Ventura Harbor, sword fishing last night. And Daniel's all excited about this Saturday's trip and Sunday's trip when kids fish free. So great stuff going on at Ventura Sword Fishing. You're going to want to join them, 805-676-3474. Let's get into the halibut situation. But before we do, you know it's tax season. And if you have back taxes or present-day taxes or tax headaches, there's nobody better than Tim Marquez at A Best Income Tax. Give Tim a call here right now. In fact, you'll be able to meet him Saturday at our Surf Fishing Festival, I'm calling it my birthday celebration down here on the beach. So give Tim a call. And also if you have heating or air conditioning and or air conditioning needs, John Lopez is your man. Give John a call and he'll take great care of you at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, halibut fishing on the local areas. There's been some great private boater scores. Kayakers still doing pretty darn well on the flatfish. We've seen nothing short of great fishing. It's been a little bit slower for some of the boats, but the native sun will be at it again today, and they're about due to hit a home run again. I can see that coming. The pride was out there at Catalina Island yesterday. 19 halibut, let us not get used to these incredible halibut scores. It's been a phenomenal season. In fact, the Pride had 80 halibut limits for 16 guys a few weeks ago or like 10 days ago, or I'm not sure when it was, <laughs> like 10 days ago. They had incredible trips. They've been putting big numbers up. Previous to this, they had 31 halibut. The Amigo ran a crew trip yesterday. I saw Jason Lawler, my good friend, galley chef extraordinaire on board the Amigo, and he said, hey, Good fishing. We had about a dozen halibut on board, and it was fun and looking pretty good there at Catalina Island. So really good signal and sign. There's also been a little sign of white sea bass. There's some squid there at Catalina Island, enough for bait if you're snagging away at it in most cases, and that's a good sign. The Pride had one white sea bass and released seven smaller fish. So again, a little bit of a sign there at Catalina Island. Up there in the Channel Islands, going back to Ventura Sport Fishing, Daniel Hottaway on the Island Spirit said, man, we see evidence of squid up there at the islands. We've seen some sea bass and caught a few. We've been catching halibut 
up here. So that is looking really good, looking great for their Saturday trip when they take off from Ventura, leaving at 8 a.m. back at 4. Daniel, however, I must warn you, beware. He will fish late if everybody is, and he is a fishing machine. Loves people, loves being out there with you. If you're a novice angler, Island Spirit, Ventura Sport Fishing this Saturday, 20% off your ticket fare if you call Sal up there in the office and say the magic word, which is free season 20, or if you go online to VenturaSportFishing.com, you can book, buy your ticket, and put in preseason 20 and they'll knock 20 percent off your build they'll do that for the rest of the year if you accomplish that feat before april the first so keep that in mind hey uh, speaking of the surf we invite you all to join us you need to send me a text i'll give you the directions i'll be here from 8 to 11 but you are welcome to come down at daybreak uh, I think the high tide is right there around 9 o'clock or so, 10 o'clock. So we've got that perfectly planned for you. Our last uh, few ventures down here on the beach, we've caught yellowfin croaker, corbina. We have not caught a halibut yet, a legal fish. So we need to do that. And remember, right down here on the corner of PCH and um, Seal Beach Boulevard, uh, big fish bait and tackle. They'll knock 10% off anything you buy unless it's on sale. All items that are not on sale, 10% off that morning until 12 noon. Make sure you go in there, mention Freeman Adventures, and they're going to knock 10% off your bait, sinkers, hooks. If you want to buy a rig, you can certainly do that. There's been some really good bar perch fishing going on. And Big Fish Bait and Tackle is doing a tournament for the biggest bar perch this month, so maybe we'll get it. You just need to purchase one of their rulers. For Saturday, you don't have to do that. I've got rulers here, but if you're going off by yourself and then you put your catch on the ruler, inscribe the date in the sand, take a photo, upload it to their Instagram page and you're in the tournament and it's a gorgeous custom rod. Big fish, bait and tackle. What a great weekend it's going to be. And then Saturday here, we're fishing Sunday. I'm at Bass Pro Shop giving a surf fishing seminar. I can't wait to shake your hand and thank you for all your support here. Tonight, midnight, that's it. No more langostas. The lobster season comes to an end. I may shed a tear because it's been such a great lobster season. And I got to tell you, some really dear friends of mine, Dan, Susie, and Hunter, were on board the Triton, and they had a magnificent trip. They had 13 legal lobster for the three of them, and they also had whitefish and sculpin. They had such a great time on that one. Susie, love you. You remain in my thoughts and prayers. I will be keeping you right there. All right, um, also, we'll continue to monitor the situation with regard to that yellowfin tuna. I hope to have some more live interviews for you a little bit later here this morning. I'll be watching. Royal Polaris is on a long range trip going down the Baja Peninsula, still catching good amounts of yellowfin tuna, and they've had some good wahoo fishing also. Don't forget, at the end of this report, I'm gonna tag on that tackle store in Ensenada with the lovely Paulina. Paulina's right now in Costa Rica, checking out all the beautiful sights of my wife's home country, Costa Rica. So she's having a great time down there and she'll be back and we'll be doing more content together south of the border. All right, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is really crazy stuff that's going on. I make a prediction for a cold water year and the yellowfin tuna start biting in March. I, my powers are immense. There's no question about it. Hey, I'm so looking forward to seeing you down here on Saturday. Come on down. Even if you came down with the kids and let them play in the sand, you have no interest in surf fishing, bring a cup of coffee, watch a gorgeous sunrise. I don't know how you can beat that. But I know a lot of you serious fishermen are going to be here, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, I'll have my charter list all complete here by tomorrow. And I've believe we're going to have the first free mini adventure swag available at the beach event. Anthony Amalfatano, I'm going to talk to him and we may have some shirts and beautiful hats available for you all. Have a great day, my friends. I can't believe it's winter and we're talking about yellow fintuna, but we are. It's incredible tribute going tonight. Polaris Supreme out there also helping out. Maybe a spotter playing up. There's a lot of great stuff that's going to happen in the next 24 hours and don't forget, Independence five-day trip. We still have a little bit of room on that one. That, everybody who signed up on that one, and I know you're watching right now, fasten your safety belts, man. This is going to be a ride that's going to be incredible. Have a great day, and I hope to see you really, really soon.
man, here we are in Good Ensenada. Evening. Paulina, what's up? Nice Good to, to see, see you again. My pleasure. Yeah. So you tell me, you have your favorite tackle store. Of course. In Ensenada. I didn't even know yes. they had a tackle store. I mean, I need my place to buy my equipment. Is it any good? <laughs> Well, it's my secret. <laughs> All right. How about we take a look at it? Of course. What do yeah. they, I mean, do they have everything in this place? Everything you need. The name is Fishka. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. They have a lot of brands, a lot of stuff. Well, and let's go yeah. in here and take a look. Yeah, come in. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, I love this place already. Yes. This is fantastic. We've got rods, reels. Everything, even sunblock. Whoa, this is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Hey, I'm super excited. I love this store. You know what the best part about this is? Tell me. Um, well, it's my opinion, my humble opinion, but I've come down here in years gone by. Oh my God, I didn't bring my trolling rod or well, I didn't bring my lures. Everything you missed, you can find here. Yeah, and you couldn't do that before. Of course. So now here's a great place. Yes. And guess what? We've got the store manager right here. Yes, here, Andre. Andre. <laughs> Hey, Andre. Andre, what's happening? It's Felipe, good to see Felipe, you. Muy bien, gusta awesome, verte, awesome. hermano. It's been a pleasure. How's it going? It's going good. Hey, well, we can both share this oh, thing. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, I really like it. Who's going to show us around? Both you guys or? It's uh, Paulina. Uh, Paulina, why don't you take over yeah, for a second? Sure. What do you want to show us, first of all? I would like to show you my favorite products in store. Oh, your yes. favorites. You actually, I, everybody should know, many people now know you on the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel. Yes. However, you love to fish. Yeah, Please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Your grandpa started Juanitos fishing yes. here in 1960. 1960. Yes. And now your aunt, your mom, mom my your uncle, uncle, and now me. Yeah. Are you gonna yes. continue on with the family tradition? Yeah, I'm sure of course. you are. I'm right? waiting for the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. My mother is the in charge person now, and yeah. my auntie. But I mean, a few years more, and maybe I will be there. Be there. Okay. Hey, before we go any further, what about the location of the store? So people, when they're coming to Ensenada, how do they find you? Where are you? We are right here in front of, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, go of, ahead. Uh, we're right here in front of uh, uh, Plaza Marina, yeah. right in front of uh, Boulevard Costero. We're okay. a five minute walking distance from the from Marina in Juanito, so actually. Okay, near the fish market too, Yeah, right? of course. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can, you know, just a quick, a quick stop by yeah. uh, for any angler that, that missed something or broke something the day before. Uh, and for really serious hardcore or, or service providers, yeah. uh, we have everything the angler needs. Perfect, I love it. All right, Paulina, you're in charge, take over. Yeah, I mean, I would like to add something. Please. Uh, the store is near, I mean, the main entrance of Ensenada. You come from Tijuana, Rosarito, whatever that street <laughs> to the boulevard. Right. And yeah, and if you miss something and you're going fishing south, like San Quintin or something down there, you can stop here and buy whatever you need or miss. And they pretty much have everything. Yes. I mean, and high quality stuff is what I'm seeing here. All right, what do you want to start with? Oh, you're here. in charge. Of course, here. Yes. My favorite jigging things. <laughs> All right. For example, I love these ones for jigging. Blue colors green colors and yellow colors yeah yep. and these are yo-yo irons right yes because they're heavy yes so do you like the yo-yo yeah these ones are pretty good for yellowtail yes yeah and lately a lot of yellowtails are appearing here in ensenada yeah we caught somebody caught one today, yeah, today who was that yeah Foca, my captain oh okay, oh, okay. <laughs> yes. very good yeah the one who goes with me fishing every day yeah yeah he, yeah. he went with a friend from actually from san diego okay yeah and they very have cool. A yellowtail and some bonitas. On yeah, board. and some rock cut maybe, huh? Yeah. I think I heard. Yeah, think, yeah, yeah. cool. We can so see those later. All okay. right, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Also, these salas, uh, the mint one and the white wine lately was pretty interesting. Okay. Yeah, they were biting. Working well? Yeah, they uh -huh. were biting this one. And also the green one. The green one, and I mean, this is smaller than the other ones that I show you, but yeah. all of these were working. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this, these ones are for jigging that I told you. All right, I'm following you. Yeah, of course. Yes, you seem to be the heifer today, <laughs> the boss. With, with Andre. <laughs> yeah, Andre's going to be in here in a little bit. He's going to give you some more tips here about the type of stuff they have. But go ahead, Kim. Yeah. Okay, also for jigging, I like these ones from Chimano. Mm -hmm. uh, these ones are pretty good. I think they are 130, if I don't mistaken. 130 grams? Yep. Okay. This one worked pretty good. Also, and we're talking for bluefin tuna mostly here now, right? Yes. Or, or you can catch, yeah, you can catch every, yeah, I mean, everything. Rockfish, everything. Yeah, rockfish, everything. Yeah, rockfish. Uh, Lincots, I caught with those ones. Yeah. 
and rockfish and some Hollywood. Okay. Yeah, so good. This, those work good. Now going this side, uh, for tuna, last year I tried these ones and they work pretty good. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, they work like the ones from Nomad, the Mad Max. Mad Max. Yeah, right. they, this works pretty... You caught fish on that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, gel, um, bluefin, sorry. Yozuris? Yes. Uh -huh. These ones work well and poppers. Poppers. You like fish and poppers? I only fish once with poppers, and yeah. it was this one. Uh huh. Yeah, and it good. I mean, they work pretty good for also for tuna. Yeah, that's a cool. Did you, you know what's exciting about that? You get to see the fish blow up. Yes. On the jig, yes, right? And that visual is yeah, incredible. Jumping, yes. Yeah. These ones are pretty good as well. All right, everybody's taking notes out there. I know they want to have the same lures that Paulina has. Yeah, for bluefin. Yeah. Most of it. And this ones for trolling. I love using rapalas. My favorite ones, and I think the ones that you don't have to miss, yes. are these colors. Okay. For yeah. bluefin? Or uh, for, for everything. Okay. I mean, I have uh, trolling with these ones. Yeah. I have caught yellowtail, uh, bonitas, um, barracutas, I mean, everything. Pretty much everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for trolling, they work pretty good. I have one that is pink. I don't know if it's here. I call it the pinky one. Yeah. My mom. But, yeah. This one. Oh, you found it? Yeah, pinky. I call it the pinky. Yeah, Let me show everybody also that. Also, it's pretty good. Now, is that because it gets better because you're being a girly girl and you want the Shh, pink that's lure? A yeah, I Oops, thought I'm so. wearing pink, sorry. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but this one's what's good. Even Mahi Mahi with this one's. Oh, okay. Yes. It gets Dorado here on those, yes, huh? Yes, Dorado, yes. All right, I perfect. This one, Dorado, fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and all th right. this way. We you got have all kinds of uh, line leader material. Yeah, leaders, yeah. yeah. Pretty important for yellow, t I mean for tuna. Yes. I used the one of 150 or 120 last year. Okay. Yes. And then I put a line of 100, yeah, 100 and leader 120. Okay, very good. Fluorocarbon, those work pretty well. Yes. You like fish and flow? Very good. Yes. And now here we have the rods. The ones that I can say. It really has a lot of rods yeah. here, huh? Every, yeah, that's great. Yes. Um, for every type of fishing. But let's say my favorite for trolling is Chimano Talus. Talus? This one? Show everybody that thing. Yes. You one, like that one? Yes, for trolling, I can say this one is my favorite. Okay. Why? Oops, sorry. Be careful there. You almost <laughs> poked my eye out. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do, but yeah, I another time I missed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one is pretty easy to use, friendly. It helps you a lot. I mean, you can caught any type of, sorry, any, no, right. <laughs> any type of fish. I yeah. mean, trolling make it easier with this one. Okay. And for jigging on bottom fish or for just having fun, I have two. To be honest, the one that I use in my boat, it's Tawaro Chimano. Okay. I mean, it's like the most practical besides it was a gift, uh, this one for yes. me. So I like this one, For but if you want to take one more, uh, rod like pretty interesting and newer is this one, uh, Trebala Chimano also. Yep, this one also works pretty good. Okay. And this grip is pretty friendly. Nice. Yes. Man, they've got all kinds of good stuff here. Yeah, I mean, you can choose whatever you want. Yes. Here, there, here, there, there, then. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got like some spinning stuff, so yep. if you want to fish the surf, yes. or even bigger spinning reels yeah, also, spinning though, so reels, you can yes. fish yellows and everything else. Yes. Really good stuff. I love it. Yes. Um, you, you can choose here your combo, or even here, Andre can help you make your combo. Oh, okay. I mean, yes, he's pretty good in these things, and he can help you if it's your first rod or your first reel. He can help you. Also, I mean, they can tell you, he can tell you the basics for if it's your first time buying equipment or yeah, something. Yeah, okay. And we have also there some reels. Oh my God, look at yes. the selection of reels there. Yes. Really cool. This one is pretty. I like it a lot. Yeah, it is. I like that. That yes. is a cool display. Yes, yes, yes. So all kinds, of, and you guys look like it's pretty much Shimano reels, right? Yes, pretty yeah. much, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe some pen reels, but I okay. think, yeah, it's more Shimano. Okay, very yeah. good. My favorites are Talica and Trinidad, to be honest. Yeah. These are my favorite ones. And for trolling, the Tagra okay. as well. But I think Andre can show you and tell you more about this. 
All right, we'll bring Andre in, and then we also have a clothing section oh, here. Course. We're going to check out later, yes, right? Woman's. Andre, you're back on again. <laughs> hey, man, she hogged up all the time. Oh yeah, she, she <laughs> knows everything. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, hours of the store. I want to ask you that. Are you open seven days a week? We are open seven days a week, uh, Monday through Friday, yeah. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. Saturdays is 9 to 3, uh -huh. and Sundays is 11 to 3 p.m. Wow. Mm -hmm. So okay. What do you want to show us? What's interesting here in the store? Do you want to show anything in particular, or did Paulina cover it all? She covered pretty much everything. I don't know what else to say. Right. <laughs> well, you have jigs, and you got, yeah, yeah, I mean, we even see gaffs over there, right? You got oh, gaffs. Yeah, and... So we are pretty well known in the area for for uh, carrying Shimano for uh -huh. a lot of years. It's yes. actually we're the first store in Ensenada to ever do so. And even people call it Shimano uh, instead of Fishco for some, you know. And we have, like Paulina was mentioning, the trolling reels, and we have uh, surf, uh, surf uh, spinning reels, and everything you might need. Uh, I really, really, really like this one uh, for yellows on the surface. Yes. This is a killer right you here. Get in here. Trying 500. I just bought this for myself. Yeah. I really love it. It's super, super yeah. strong and a fast reel. You have the, uh, the magnetic, the magnetic. Uh, drag right here yes and the star drag as well so this is this i love i love this rail right here yes super strong super rail strong, right strong versatile yeah everything you can jig it you can troll it you can you can uh you can cast for days and you won't get tired That's actually right. we find out that this this uh, reel in particular was designed for fresh water. Oh, okay. And they just found that it's just super comfortable to keep casting and casting, and you can use it all day. And it's, that's why they use it for salt water as well. That's excellent. Do you buy all your gear here? Is this what you do? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. All right, why not, right? It's yeah. easy for you. Convenient. <laughs> it's easy. It's near Juanitos. It's in the center of the city. I mean, and they have pretty much everything. So. Is there ever a time you get in the ponga, you're going to go fishing, and you go, oh, man, I forgot my hooks, yeah, oh, my and you hooks, come running yeah. over here? Everything. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. so cool. I lost my gloves. I need sunscreen. Everything you can find here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, you got sunscreen, huh? Yes. Oh, man, I can use that yeah. sometimes. Right up there. Let me Some tell glasses, you. caps. <laughs> <laughs> you got glasses, caps, everything. Yeah. Um, what else? Is, I you mean, can go upstairs and check out the cloning. Why don't we do oh, yeah, that? Cloning. Yeah, come on. All right. Hey, Andre, one thing that uh, comes in really handy also, I noticed you've got a freezer down there. I don't see any bait in it, but do you plan on having it? Yeah, we're, we're planning to uh, have this uh, frozen bait um, at the store, you know, available for the customers. Uh, we're going to have mackerel. We're going to have baby squid. We're going to have sardine. Uh, and we're planning to bring some some valley who's too from, from the south. Our, our buddies from, from Cabo use it a lot, and it's super effective for tuna. And, and mar of course, we don't have marlin here, but it's super effective for marlin. And, uh, and we're going to have everything available here at the store. That, too. that is friggin' awesome. I mean, that's good for surf fishing and everything else. I, you know, you take a sardine, cut it up, barb perch bite that really well. And it's hard to come by bait down here, too, sometimes. So that's great. How long has this store been here? Uh, I'm curious about that. Tell me a little bit about the history of this place. So uh, Fishco has been here for 15 years in the same 15. spot. 15. 15 wow. years already. And uh, you know we are we're we're here to uh, to help our customers and and welcome everybody in and is willing to learn more about fishing local fishing and we have you know knowledgeable employees that know um, especially how to fish uh, locally in other parts of Baja we have lots of customers from Bahia Los Angeles Loreto El Cabo and we have they don't have a lot of stores over there so they stop by here and or we can you know ship them and yeah. There you go. All right. Very yeah. good. Appreciate everything once again. Thank you. For Thank you. Hey, we had a race to come upstairs here to see second, the clothing department. Yes, second floor. And I won. <laughs> oh, yes. you should feel really bad letting an old man beat you. You too. Yeah. Andre. All right. Hey, we're up here in the clothing department and there's a fitting room. You can go try stuff on and everything else. Let's talk about what you've got here in terms of the brand. Well, we have pretty much anything you might need or if you want to you know, purchase something for a family member as a gift, uh, for a holiday or, or, or a birthday present. Uh, we have like tactical uh, gear. We have like dress uh, shirts like this one right here. Very nice. Just, like fashionly, yeah. you can say. Right. And, uh, if just you like really... me, I'm always looking to be fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and uh, we have, you know, shirts, we have jackets, we have vests, uh, 
belts, shoes, boots, sandals, hats, everything you might need. Uh, we have it here at the store. We have big brands like Shimano, we have Afco, we have Pelagic, we have Costa. And you know, and if, you, if we don't have it here at the store, we can order it for you. And you know, just knock the door and we are here to help. Man, that is fantastic. Now, something tells me that you're going to be into clothing more than I would be into well. it. I focus on the fishing, but the clothing also is important. Do you dress yeah, for I mean, a fishing trip? Like, do you think, hey, I want to wear this? And Yeah, I mean. Because I've never done that as a man before, but you, you do that, right? <laughs> I do that because, I mean, I need Oh, pink, your favorite color. Yeah. Yes. Do you think so? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like to buy my gear and my equipment because I don't like to get my normal fancy clothes covered with blood yeah. or salt or something like that right so i try to keep some clothes like specifically for fishing yes uh to be honest this store is pretty cool because they have woman section yeah and not all stores have that okay you always i mean me as a girl i always buy the small size of men's yeah white. yeah yeah so they have here as you can see Women's. They also have kids, so it's pretty. Oh, cool. that's very cool. Yeah, it's cool because they yeah. have for kids, and I mean, you never see this in all stores. And yeah, I like to buy a lot of these ones because it's super fresh when you are outside. Oh right, and yes. they dry fast. Yeah, they dry when they get fast. wet. Yes. Yeah. So I have a lot of these ones. Every very color. nice. Every color, because I have. I, I am a woman. <laughs> yes. And one thing that I would like to say is that the first brand... Andre seems like he doesn't believe that. You, you believe <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, let's not start. We'll get kicked off YouTube. <laughs> I want to tell you something. The first brand that I know was this one, Guy Harvey. This was the, the first brand I know, and then I did... Guy Harvey does great artwork, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what I want to say. Yes. And after, I mean, I know first the the clothing and then i discovered that he paints and he loves right. a lot of cute and amazing fishes and everything or for design so cute yeah, so yes yeah then when i saw that that's immediately what i thought wow yes. that is so cute yes. no i didn't think that <laughs> okay yes yeah. what else <laughs> so i mean as andrea said they have everything caps uh hats uh belts uh, shoes. oh yeah my god belts yeah, everything shoes uh, boots, these ones are basic for go fishing because, I mean, at first I go with my sneakers and no oh bad, my God. bad idea. Then they're ruined, right, immediately. Yes, yes. no. My socks were wet. My sneakers were all covered in blood, so no. So this I even carry in my car. I have a pair of boots, you know, down where the boats are, yeah. and then I have one in my car just in case. Yeah, you know, hey, you want to go know. fishing today? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh shoot, I got my boots right. Or you, you gotta can... be ready. <laughs> and Paulina mentioned these sneakers right here. I really, really love them. These are Shimano's uh, Eva's uh, sneakers, and they're super easy to wash. They are versatile. They're comfortable. I use this every day. And you can use it with socks, no socks. And I use them mostly in hot weather. Mm -hmm. And because they're a little bit more fresh with this mesh and, and as water goes through. And really, really come this, this kind of shit right here. And do these, I think you mentioned, they clean up well, right? If you get blood on them yeah, or anything? Yeah, I have this for uh, two years already. Yeah. And they, they, I mean, you wash them, you take care of them, they look brand new. And they're super comfortable to use on, the, on boat. And especially in a long hours standing or fishing. And these are really, really wonderful shoe right here. All right, good. And do you have a variety of sizes here? We have two, uh, two colors and all sizes you need. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Even my size? Even your size. You sure about yeah, that? I'm sure. Yeah. What is my size? I don't know. Let's find out. 14. <laughs> or 15 sometimes. Man, did I have trouble when I was living in China. They looked at me like I was from another planet. <laughs> what? What the heck? Oh, but good. Okay, you got all the yeah. sizes here. What else? This is great. Fantastic, man. Can yeah, people come you. down and try try on a shirt? or? Yeah, we have the fitting room right there. Yeah, I saw and, that. And just, you know, we are here to help and, and everything you need, you're right here. All right, perfect. Paulina, anything else you want to say about the clothing? No, but... Well, you want to point out anything else that's cute here? Of course, after the video. No, oh, uh -oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to say that really, really everything you need is here. I mean, a cap, a hat, a belt, jeans, uh, t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, all you need is here. And as Andrea said, it's a pretty good idea so you can give something like this on um, birthdays or something. I mean, that's a great idea. Yeah, for sure. And Andrea, both Paulina and I want to thank you, thank you for having us in this great store here in Ensenada. Now, People that are coming down from the United States have a place to go, oh, man, I forgot my hooks. I don't have a gaff. Blah, 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 blah. Boom, right here. Fishco, right? Yes. And, uh, well, thank you so much, Phil, for this opportunity to be in your videos. 
and uh, we just want to welcome everybody into our store. All right, perfect. Group hug. Come Yay. on. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you very much.